All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Cholenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Cholenza Show. So I did a previous podcast on uniqueness, how a lot of people I know want to be unique because that's one of the things I teach in my Mastering Self-Confidence program, so I discuss it a lot. If you want to, you know, if you want to stand out, you got to be unique. You got to be interesting, Uh, not necessarily always following what everybody else is doing, but I also think a lot of people think they do things that make them unique, which actually doesn't make them unique, or it's so obvious, it almost looks like they're just starving for attention, that as well. But in this case, what I want to talk about is somebody who's necessarily just wants to fit in. Because I look at things from all different perspectives when it comes to people. What's good for me may not be good for you, right? And a lot of times I'm telling people to stand out, be unique. I talk about it a lot. Or just become who they truly want to become, which who the hell knows what that is. But I also think, as an honest approach, there's a lot of people that just want to fit in, that feel way out. They don't want to be unique. They don't want to stand out. They just, and I'm not saying that they want to fall into a click. They just want to be accepted maybe by others or just become parts of groups that they've never been able to be a part of. And I've seen this. And I've discussed this once on a podcast, how I I learned a very valuable lesson at a younger age. Where in school, we all had different cliques. And I was very fortunate because I'm not going to lie, I was very popular in school, especially through my high school years. I know what I was and what I, you know, you kind of know what you are. And a lot of people pretend they're not. I was a pretty decent athlete, but I also got a lot of attention. I think from the way I dressed to the way my attitude was to the lifestyle I led even bopping between Florida and Chicago and looking the way I looked to a certain degree. And my family knowing a lot of people and me just knowing a lot of people and hanging out in all these different areas. I was very fortunate like that. And I was kind of programmed to kind of act like a man at a very young age. So even around women, I kind of didn't treat them like like a high school boy. I kind of treated them like a woman or, and I kind of acted more like a guy who was in his 20s, not somebody who was 15 or 16. Uh, but what, you know, I remember in school, I always had issues and nobody picked me when it came to certain things. Like you had to build groups or projects in school. I was always out, right? But then in sports, I'm always getting picked first or second. And then I saw on the flip side, I'm looking at the kids that were really intelligent, let's say in school or did very well, Some were athletes, some weren't, but most of the time, a lot of, I guess you could call them geeks, whatever you want to call them, nerds, whatever. And I'm not even saying at that level, but I noticed a lot of times I can see the way they felt when they're getting picked second, third, fifth, the last, or they're not that good of an athlete. It was weird. It was like you had inside school, which you probably saw, which maybe you were a good student or not. And then outside the school, who's cool and who's not. And I really saw that with like guys wanting to meet girls and stuff. Like a lot of the kids who were the smartest kids in my school, they couldn't even get a date anywhere. And I'm one of the worst kids in the school. And then I knew a lot of girls from say all over the place that they wanted me to introduce them to. And we both had strengths and weaknesses. And I noticed too, like sometimes I'd see guys wanting to fit in certain groups. Like it could be my group or even whatever the case may be. They just wanting to be more popular, I guess, to or just be in a certain click or crew. It could be a certain team. It could be whatever the hell it is. I get it. A lot of us just have to admit, we like to be a part of groups. I mean, that's kind of, I think, our past when we were kind of in packs as human beings. We had to protect one another. So we were in different groups that would, you know, uh, we'd eat together. We'd have family together, friends and all those type of things. I think a lot of men and women out there are on the outside. It's very hard for them to become social And they want to. And sometimes they pretend they don't, but they do. And I'm here to tell you, here's what I would recommend to anybody wanting to fit into certain groups. Or I know it's a bad name, but cliques or whatever. Because I've always been fortunate I can slide kind of in and out whenever I kind of wanted it to a certain degree. But a lot of times I'm going to tell you right now with me is I don't, I'm more in, I'm more out than in. I'm good in like I can fit in. But I'm very independent, I guess you could say. But I know there's a lot of people that want to be a part of a group and just kind of stay within that group. And it could be at work. It could be with fitness. It could be with whatever the hell it is. It could be with their local neighborhood bar. Uh, It could be joining a softball team. It could be even, you know, whatever the hell it is. I don't care if you want to go to an art school or go to, you know, you're in class and there's, you know, before you know it, a bunch of groups of people, they kind of gather and I see the other one or the other one is on the outs. Listen. You have to make yourself approachable. 
That's one thing I think a lot of people miss. A lot of people look at others and go, man, you know, uh, they're not very nice or they're not very kind. And I've discussed this before. You know, who are you? If you want to become friends with other people, reach out, right? Also, be able where, be in a position where they can reach out to you. You don't look scared. You're not afraid. You're also not a pain in the ass when you do start to get around these type of people. You're not reaching. You're not really overdoing it. You're not overly talking. You're not overly communicating. You're not obnoxious. You're not doing all these things to actually turn people off instead of on. I don't mean sexual either. I mean, just making yourself available and understanding that it may also take time to fall into certain groups or, uh, you know, just situations where people are going to gravitate towards you. Because I think a lot of people love all different types of people in this day and age. I don't care if you're straight, gay, dumb, smart. If you look at life now, I think it's so much different than when I grew up where you had like, even in high school, you had jocks, nerds, uh, you know, whatever um, you had, you know, the, the gearheads. Then you had, you know, guys that were like rock and roll guys or whatever. I see myself hanging out with all different types of people and I've always been that way, but I haven't seen that before. Like before that wasn't really that popular. But I'm just telling you, don't sell yourself short. If you want to, you know, blend in or become a part of a certain group, do it. Don't wait around. You know, you may not get in this certain group, but the other group may accept you. You also may want to start building your own group, but don't be ashamed if you do want to start, you know, becoming not an outsider, but kind of more on on the inside, I guess you could say. So I just want to do a podcast on this because I just don't think a lot of people, um, you know, really truthfully do what they want to do a lot of times if they've been casted out, let's say in their past. And I'm going to tell you something. If you are somebody that's older that was kind of casted out in your past, uh, was, you know, told certain things or you never, nobody really accepted you for the most part. You only had a couple friends that does not have anything to do with who you are now. I'm telling you that was then your past isn't as irrelevant as you think it is. Of course you learned from it, but just cause you may have not been popular before and you want to be popular now to a certain degree, you can do it. If you want to have a different identity, a YouTube, a podcast or whatever, but you didn't think anybody ever listened to you then don't be shocked. They may listen to you now. You're a different person. Every day you're evolving. Don't get caught up in that. I'm just telling you that. You want to go, if you were horrible in athletics, don't think you can't go to a gym and start working out with people and becoming friends with a lot of healthy people. Even if you weren't that healthy, uh, all these different types of things, even education, you can go back to school. You may be shocked at how much more intelligent you are now. I have so many friends, I'm not kidding, that were horrible students that still go to school now, off and on or online, that are doing unbelievable, getting degrees. And they were bad students, but they didn't sell themselves short. So that's it. I'm just going to wrap it up there. You got any questions or comments, you can hit me up. Uh, My website's richtolenza.com at Mastering Self confidence.com and I try to help men really build confidence to become who they truly want to become and I don't care if you're a man or a woman don't sell yourself short I talk about it all the time go do what you want to do and do it with who you want to do it with if you don't it's on you